Hi guys, welcome to our latest video. As you can see behind me, things are a little different. Uh, that's because m myself and pretty much all the team uh, are remote at the moment and doing everyone in the field is as well like that and doing their best to, to really um, get through this and at least uh, get things up and kicking. Today, uh, we thought long and hard about this and I thought um, we really wanted to make a video that shed some hope that got our minds off things, that, um, that took what we like to do best, which is create images. That's what we're all about. And that's what we love to do. And to be honest, even for myself, who worked on this with uh, Lucas and Timon, I loved it. It was amazing to, to, you know, forget all the hustle and bustle of the first few days, which, you know, weren't easy for anyone. I don't think they were easy for anyone at all. And really just come together and get our minds off this and it's okay we're going to push through this it's going to be okay um and really create something that you know meant something and it was fun and then put that hope out there to everyone and i think especially um with times as they are we all have to help each other we all have to be friendly i've seen the the community all come together as one and really um bond and and put out there everything that's happening and that that's been incredible to see i'm gonna leave a few causes below which i think are quite important um one of them is actually connected to, to you know to using our graphics cards power into to actually getting over this pandemic that's happening through the world and hopefully with this image, we also shed a little bit of hope and uh, positive vibes uh, to everyone. I want to send a big hug to my friend Jeffo, uh, whose uh, new website is going to be launching really soon. That's uh, from CG Architect, who I think we're all behind at this point. We can't wait to see this new website. So without further ado, guys, I'm going to hopefully uh, let you grab uh, uh, a little uh, drink, if that is the case. <laughs> and enjoy this as I jam down with my two colleagues and friends, Lucas and Timon, and we create an artist jam, which was where all this was inspired from the musicians. And we come together, and in less than a day, we made a very simple image and a video for your enjoyment. Okay, guys, it's gonna be okay. Okay, so we're gonna just jump straight uh, into this. We're not even showing a mood board or anything. Lucas is doing the modeling on this, so he's basically going to take over the chat. And just to let everyone know, this was very fluid in the way that it was done. So we're not creating a, a grand masterpiece, but it's a bit of fun between us. Lucas, go for it. Yeah, so uh, as you can see, uh, what's going on, we just grabbed some simple buildings because that was the, uh, our concept, that was the idea. Uh, well, that's something we knew for sure we're going to be in between buildings. Um, we grabbed the very basic shapes and started, um, you know, mocking up something, right? Trying to create a composition for it, which, uh, as you can see, is not going to stay like that, but it was more about getting the feel, getting the understanding of where we want to go mm. with this. Yeah, yeah I, can, I can see it's like some sort of a 3D sketch, actually. Yeah, I think yeah. We, we do this a lot, even when we're kind of working on our... And uh, we're working on jobs in the office, like 3D sketches can be super helpful. Um, we don't have that mood board, but we did prep like a very quick mood board. It didn't show up, but you'll see it in the next phase. But is yeah. there anything that you, you want to mention as our king modeler uh, in, the, in the studio? Uh, well, uh, huh, not putting me on the spot like that. <laughs> um, well, the, the, the thing is, it's, I think, because now you can actually see uh, I'm using some other buildings that we still didn't use, uh, but I wanted to try something with more detail because the previous one were, were very simple and it gives, give, gave me the idea what composition we, we want to go with, um, but then how it will look when we have more detail. And now we flicked way forward um, mm. where we have the actual building we've used uh, to to make the uh, make the final image. Yeah, what's funny is always like um, when you see these scenes from the camera, it looks like it's like a perfect scene. Uh, what when you see it from the outside when you're navigating around, it's uh, it's really funny because yeah. uh, you know it's just like this completely uh, oblique thing that you can't make any sense of. Things are just scattered all over the place. It's all just for the image, isn't it? 
Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think um, the, the camera is the first thing. That's why we did the sketch in the beginning, right? To more or less know where we want to go and what the camera will be and what the camera will actually see. And yeah. then it doesn't matter. As, as long as the building is visible in a camera, I put it further down just because it's going to be easier to control later uh, with depth. Um, so, so, so that's one of the reasons why they are not, you know, they seem to be closer than they actually are uh, mm -hmm. in a 3D space, but that's because it's just easier for us later to control. Yeah, I can't, I can't believe we did this like in a day, just like we yes. organized this, we did, we, we, we edited it and we came up with a structure in like a day, less than a day, I think, just to have a bit of fun. I think, yeah, I think it was really good to keep our mind of all the stuff going on around the world and to, to help everyone have a bit of a good time. Well, so, yeah. uh, so here, like, the, your first idea was really to build everything around this bridge, right? Which would be the main uh, element of this visual. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and in the first sketch, uh, you can see that the bridge is actually going, you know, through the whole image, through all of the buildings. Mm -hmm. uh, we changed that uh, to just have mm -hmm. that in the foreground. Uh, one one important thing, this whole image, when we were coming up with it, we were, again, this was very fluid. We were trying to understand. You guys remember trying to come up with this like concept, and we had this concept of hope, and we thought yes. this is important to mention. Eh? We like people are going to be why the hell did you do that? And we thought bridges are always kind of symbols of hope uh, because yeah, it's a way to connect people. Um, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And uh, I think that was our main thing. Let's have fun. Something we could create quite simple, and uh, and yeah, that has a little bit of meaning. And it's kind of now that everyone's isolated. When people come together, uh, you know, and uh, and hug. That was the whole idea. Then we came up for the end. Uh, that this bridge kind of unites people. We're, we're just yeah. poetic guys, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was a little error in there. Uh, but yeah, so no uh, what we did now was just add a bit more details, a bit more assets, because we wanted to have it a bit more futuristic feel, which we added even more of that <laughs> later. Um, but we wanted to have that sci-fi sort of vibe, but still keeping the architecture uh, more current, so it's uh, so it's not a very distant future. Mm. And also the tone, tone out, well... Tonality, you started with the sun, but then we mentioned, remember, yeah. and we'll talk a little bit about that in the next thing of how we could change that. And we reviewed this image right after um, right after this segment ends. We kind of came together and reviewed, and that's what you're going to see next. All right, so I think um, after this, Lucas, the first thing that comes to mind is... Just uh, stretching down a little bit the the crop. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Like, so the bridge is not not so so much on the yeah. bottom of the frame. Yeah. 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 Even even when we do this thing, like make square brush great again. <laughs> oh yeah, man. <laughs> I feel yeah, like definitely it needs, needs something there. It does, doesn't it? And also when I do this for the bridge. And let's not even speak about mood, right? We're not even there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One second. So we can get to but, go, 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 but, go. But I just think like if this is, if the bridge is the main element, like the main subject on this image, we should really make it pop more. So I know we don't want to talk too much about the mood right now, but I would really put some more fog or uh, something I, that can distinguish it a bit better. So you've just done like a quick lighting test, but I think we should go with something that's, um, you know, that's more around these palette. This is, and so the idea is like, we have something like this and then the bridge, this is what we spoke of, right? The bridge is like this transition of hope and that's the lit up area. And that's the hopeful area. This is something totally random. Um, but <laughs> I, I think that will be quite cool to have more in that direction with something where you have quite heavy fog, and then you can also build up, you know, you can also build up um, towers in the background if you want to give that kind of, you know, just the... Yeah, the, just a bit more, yeah, yeah, to it. One of the things... So do we want it. this uh, artificial lighting or do we want maybe some a slight ray of sun um, or sunset maybe eating that bridge? 
what, what do you guys think would look best? On this yeah, I, I would say that if you want to emphasize the bridge, it will have to be more of a uh, night shot, and we use artificial lighting to to make that pop. Because if we use sun, it's gonna pop in the other places as well, right? Yeah, that's very true. And we, we're going to lose um, lose that focus. Remember what we were saying, guys. Like we could um. We could basically, sorry, it's really hard to kind of sketch and try and think and talk. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, I think one of the things we can do is, um, is I, I have to say, the, the bridge is going to be our main element. And that's the thing where, you know, the, the union, people coming together, they've come out after all this quarantine stuff. <laughs> and, you know, humanity has been reborn with a new hope i guess but it would be nice once you know we get all that information all that lighting here the bridge is the main thing you know and maybe what you said timon um and that image you you just uh sent let me see you know this one like uh, it yeah. could be quite nice to have something like that where the sun is hitting is pinging those tops i think even in our mm -hmm. pinterest board yeah, yeah, something so, like that. Yeah, we just yeah. have some slight sun, like dusk or sunset. Um, that. I think that'd yeah. be super cool to have something like that. And then we, we basically could make that kind of happen. But, yeah, I think it would be better because I, I think only artificial lighting would make it look a bit too dystopian, in my opinion. Yeah. This is our quick I mean, that sketch. sounds good to me. We would put it really low uh, and then just uh, we always can just mask it in where we yeah. need it uh, later yeah. in post. I think it just needs some crazy big foreground, you know, elements, elements. as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just to frame it all a bit better, I agree. Yeah, so I think pushing more the fog behind the bridge and uh, adding these foreground elements to get more yeah. depth. But you're going to um, change the, the thing as well, the, the, the mood and lighting, I think. We, yeah. we should. We should definitely change that. And then yeah. just... Adding those, tre you know how this one has those trellises? That could be super cool to have some trellises and just add in some stuff on that. Just, yeah, on that, yeah. Just yeah, so it doesn't that. catch so much attention. Yeah. yeah, well, to be honest, it's to catch attention because we have no information on this side and it's very, um, and it's very plain. So, yeah. also, like, maybe some, you know, that would be super cool, some, um, some, more antennas and maybe some crazy stuff going on in the just on the facade yeah everyone must be thinking man if they really talk about images like that just adding stuff that's not how pr process is no but wait i guess we're doing this <laughs> for fun right we're not doing this like yeah for, we're not doing it for client work but yeah i think that that would look super cool and then maybe you've got a spaceship up here you've got a little you know not a spaceship, but well, like, it would have to sort of connect maybe with the bridge. If we, we could build a story if, if we going as far as adding spaceships. Not yeah, we... like a helicopter, like you know, Blade Runner okay. when it comes down with the thing. It's um that would add a really nice story and like some light light things. Maybe maybe actually, like seeing the people who have come out and they think, man, you should. Yeah, but the out. thing is, if I you think... if you have that, that could be interpreted as. It's a helicopter that's actually catching people to put them back because yeah, I, you know, I think if it's it focuses not, on them. Yeah, it's it's a bit too negative of a connotation. I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I agree. I agree. Uh, um. And yeah, I think that just these elements. I like these light elements, but it's like we need a few more variations or antennas or something. Some antennas down here. So like just bashing in some stuff, and uh, we should be, we should be but good. It, it, it almost makes me think of, you know, um, when in, in Berlin, when they took down the wall um, and all these people gathering, re reuniting, just having fun. Um, yeah, yeah. That's, that that's could a... be, I think, more like the direction we want to go with with, with the story, right? Yeah, I, I think that could be quite cool, Timon, to be honest. I think that would it's be just people really re reuniting. Cool. Yeah, this is. A... Yeah, I think that could be really cool. Then we see how we do it with lighting. This is what we were talking about previously uh, when we failed our attempt and we said really nasty stuff. <laughs> but I kept it anyway. But I think that could be really, that's a really cool connotation of like these people gathering on that bridge. And um, and then, yeah, we just 
take it from there, really, I think. So I think you've, okay. got, you've got the tools. To, I mean, do you guys want to kind of just sketch and share screen or something and see what you come up with, Timon? Yeah, sure. Um, do you mind sending me that in the screen grab? Just screen grab it. All right. Then. One sec. So I'm sharing screen, so it can be a bit of a tricky thing. Wait, we're kind of resolving this right on the fly. What, what I think is the whole, the whole, I think the whole image is topian is fine. It's just something here should, you know, really scream hopeful mm. um, to go okay, for the story. I, I think that yeah, the, the dystopian surroundings actually works really well to, you know, contrast with uh, with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Timo, okay, yeah. so I was just thinking, I, I still think that only artificial lighting is not really going to make it look too awful. So maybe just adding a little touch, like really a small touch of, um, mm. of you know, some hint that there, the sun is coming, I think can be really cool. And actually, like, mm. it's, it's bouncing nicely, the light with the, what we have um, on top here. Yeah. Once you do that, it also... The thing is, we don't really have the color palette or anything here. We're just kind of uh, figuring this out in our head and just yeah, using exactly. this as a mattress, a kind of a, black, a canvas that we're just bouncing about. But I think once you did that, that's quite interesting. Maybe yeah, that's with like a it's target simple. light or something, uh, something similar like that, Lucas, that we uh, that we use. Yeah, I, I will. Get, I will do a couple options to, of all what we talked about of this. So when we have stronger <clears> sun, <throat> more more without the sun, and then we can decide. I'll just do a couple previews so we can have a look and be like, okay, we're going to want to start with this and that's what we're going to mm. develop. That's, that's yeah, I think that sounds like yeah. a plan. That sounds <laughs> cool. awesome, man. So let's do that and uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's get this rocking. Let's just do it. Awesome. All right, so uh, let's see uh, what Mr. Lucas did after we had this review. Yeah, so uh, we wanted to see more buildings in the background, and that's why I'm adding now, just coming up with some with some tower. I used the one we already had and uh, tried to make it a bit more interesting so it doesn't look the same. And adding more detail to the bridge to, to make it a bit more interesting. Uh, which I, as you can see, I just use assets that we had on the roofs, rotated them around, and just dr dropped them in there, and it does the job. You know, it adds yeah. some some extra. I'm actually detail. pretty amazed with your technique of just taking a building and just playing a bit with the symmetry to making it look more mm. sci-fi-ish. I really love yeah. that, and just yeah. building some details. Mm. I yeah. think it's a really smart way to work because you can really quickly come with the uh, uh, original designs. Yeah, I think you're like kit bashing. It's uh, basically what kit bashing is, right? It's just kind of grabbing stuff. It's how they did the and more start. details on top of facades. Yeah, and the... here we're working up the foreground, which yeah. eventually uh, we're going to scrap. But you know, you have to start somewhere. You 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 add certain elements, um, and then you review if they work or they don't. It's better to try and then get rid of something, than you know not try at all and miss an opportunity mm. in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moving buildings around to because we also discussed we want to see more light coming onto the bridge, which later uh, obviously we got rid of the idea with the sun. Yeah. But um, the sun was bring that light. It was nice. Now that I'm looking at it, I think the sun was a bit more hopeful. But um, let's probably change that. <laughs> You're gonna kill me yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I did that. But no, I think we. We got rid of it, but now, like, looking at it, it probably wouldn't have been too bad to keep the sun or do something with it. Yeah, also here, the composition has changed a little bit. I'm moving buildings around to actually see that sun coming onto the bridge because uh, with a previous camera and previous composition, it wasn't as visible because the bridge was on the same level as the camera and you mm. just couldn't catch the glimpse of the sun touching it. Mm. Yeah, um, I see you, you added this balcony as well. I think it uh, could have been a nice touch, but um, I think we, we reviewed it. And uh, I really yes. felt like it was too overpowering and the bridge wasn't the main element anymore, which is why I said I'm not too sure about it. Mm. Yes, that's and, the uh, thing. And later we just uh, got rid of it. But yeah. again, I think it was worth trying. So that's why I was mentioning it's good sometimes to try something, even though it might not uh, stick around till the end. Yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, my dog just keeps running around, like hitting the everything. <laughs> so if you hear that, don't worry. I think this phase always takes a little bit more because of, um, and that's the way, even the way we do it, like the first phase is always quick and very loose because you can just do so much. And, and 
once you start actually a lot of these options i didn't see lucas but they look really cool yeah yeah i, I know but i tried different things uh you know so so so, so that's that's also the the thing that yes you know, we do a lot of in post production, but there's a lot of investigation going first, even in 3D, when we try different lighting options, yeah. you know, different colors, different tones. Yeah. We wanted to do this. Um, we wanted to do this artist jam live, but it's not easy because uh, we we can do a project like that, or we can do a job. But when you, I mean, when you're doing that recording and thinking about a structure, it's uh, it's really not easy at all. Yeah. yeah, and what I like as well is like the first part was really more about the big gestures, and here uh, I can tell you we're more into details on uh, mm -hmm. you know the surrounding buildings and the main element that is a bridge, and uh, it's quite funny because that's the way we do it in painting as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Cheap and thing. I think here I started reverting back because we just decided that uh, bridge building being lower and the change of composition wasn't wasn't as successful as the previous one, so we just went back and try the different way of highlighting the bridge which is gonna be visible in a, in the next phase yeah i think we all have different workflows you know i think you would probably this, do it completely differently than what, me and after this we did the sorry to interrupt after this we did the post-production right and yeah. that's where yeah. we got into our uh into our groove yeah cool that's it Okay, so from there I just took the 3D Lucas did and tried to match it with um, the mood and the ideas we had when we did the review as well. So uh, what I really like is how everything looks so dystopian, but by just so playing a bit with light we can bring back this uh, hopeful feeling. So that's really what I was going after. So here you mainly see me playing with depth, because uh, my main intent on this one was you know getting my values right first and then getting some interest and some creating this depth that's going to really make for a nice atmosphere and just give a sense of distance as well. Um, also, I'm going to try to separate the bridge from the rest of the elements, which uh, you'll see in a bit. I think uh, one of the nice things, I mean, we love, who doesn't love to play with this, right, is the fog. It's one of the nicest things uh, to play with. And one of the big errors that I see a lot of times is that people think that fog is white and it's uh, it's pure white. It's not. Fog is actually, you know, it's particles in the air that create this density. And that density then reflects around the particles of light. And, well, this has all this scientific part, which I'm not like a pro. But um, it has this uh, reflect chain of particles and light so it becomes kind of almost like a mass of a certain color depending on the atmosphere etc um but i think you your take was quite cool and it had this kind of hopeful feel i think when i take it i go a bit more dystopian <laughs> but yeah my, my main intent here is really to what i always keep in mind is to lead the eye and by you know using what the light is um, pointing to where it's pinging what parts are dark what, what is actually really lit that is really gonna help you lead the eye um, on your visual mm. and uh, mm. i think it's actually really fun to start one uh, myself and then pedro takes it over and does his own version because uh really gives you know a different take from the artist and uh, i just love seeing that i've seen that all over the internet as well and it's always so fun to see you know the different takes people have yeah. on, the, on the on the same base or, or just on the same concept or, well, or idea that's yeah. what we do all the time, right? Like we yeah, do yeah. a lot of reviews, and sometimes it works, and sometimes someone is stuck, and you change it over. I guess that's yeah. The thing is, like most artists, they get really personal on their own visuals, and uh, they don't take you know criticism. They don't they don't accept any um, anyone else saying anything about what what you know their work or what they're mm -hmm. coming up with. And I think that's actually really not helping you <laughs> if if. Mm -hmm. if uh, I think this type of mentality is really not going to help you um, move forward and you know accept what you're doing wrong, understanding it, and just trying mm -hmm. to, to get better. And sometimes if someone needs to do another painting for that, well, that's actually um, not that bad of a thing. Mm. Uh, if I can add anything, is this really shows how important that depth is and how important it is to, to get it right. Because all you're doing here now, pretty much, is working on depth, and Value. this is what makes the image. And it's something we often can see. P people get the depth wrong all the time, and it's very easy to do it. 
and it's very easy to to get it wrong so mm. it's good to take more time to actually work into it and try to really get it right and study it if you having trouble with it is to to really study it look at yeah. photos and try to understand how it exactly works because it's not as straightforward there's a lot of mm. factors that, that come into it yeah. well, the, the way I tried to do this one is to really get an overall mood and um, you know the overall image working and then working a bit more into detail on the main area which is the bridge so trying to bring a bit more um, of a touch and of some details uh, on this area so there is a lot of, of tries uh, try and, and errors as well uh, especially with matte paintings like this, mm. it's just uh, a lot of fun to do, and it's a lot of things I try. It works, it doesn't work, but mm. you know, this is it. all a process. Yeah. That sun pass, sorry, Tim, and that one just up there, that kind of orangey pass that's on screen. Man, I have to say I love that. When 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 Lucas showed me that raw render with that sun pass, I was yeah. like, man, it's done. It doesn't even need yeah. anything else. But then it was super. Yeah, the mood was super diced open, and we're like, okay, let's try and not go there. It's our, it's kind of our safe spot. I go there all the time. Uh, I just, uh, I mean, there's something fun about creating stuff like that because it's not real. <laughs> oh, definitely. I mean, I, I love so much oh, really? like super dystopian images. I love them, but uh, I really like the challenge of having this dystopian uh, city and trying to actually make it hopeful. Um, I thought that was a really cool concept. So. Yeah. Yeah, How especially you... for us, because a lot of what we do, you know, at work on a daily basis, obviously Archvis has to be more into, you know, happy tones rather than just talking. Yeah. So that's what we do, you know, all the time, and this is a nice change. Yeah, I, so that's what I came really up with good, at this stage. And uh, all I needed, to, if I had a bit more time, of course, I would have added some people. That's the main thing, you know, it's actually the main story, but I knew that Pedro was going to work on it. So that's now uh, Pedro's take on... on well, I was just reviewing a little bit and kind of f figuring out maybe where we could potentially go with it. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a sucker for depth and it, never the white depth, you know, where it gets like very bright, although I did tend to go there. But to be honest, man, I really like your version. Now I'm looking at the stuff, I'm like, mm, I, I didn't well, we, need we to ended change. Up we ended There's up kind dog. of <laughs> we ended up kind of uh, taking the best of my version and your version as well and uh, I really like the final we came up with that yeah. uh, you'll see in a few seconds okay he's uh, going <laughs> yeah, Sorry, he's this is a beautiful the, thing we, uh, we... <laughs> foreground elements that also helps a lot just to you know it doesn't have to be 3D right yeah. you can just go yeah. and you can just paint that in yeah, actually, it's something I don't see many people do is um, usually people when they do depth, they just make it super everything super faded. But bringing back some details like these lines in the background that you know where, where the light hits actually gives so much more to the image. Yeah, I actually yeah. found that those hits of light that you had left in was like essential. It was like super duper essential and just gave it a little something. I think. Yeah. You know, this is kind of something we're in our comfort zone making. So it's always a little more, yeah. Again, you know, this is a quick kind of a study more than anything. It's not exactly like a finalized image, but it's it's good because if we were to finalize it, all these things we're developing shows us where the image isn't working, what we would benefit in 3D, how we could improve certain parts of the 3D. And I think yeah. like just doing this type of sketch really, really helps. I'm not going to cut this because of the dog, guys. <laughs> it's it's working well, so sorry about that. Pancho just wants to say hello. He <laughs> wants some the spotlight. <laughs> so now it's uh, just adding some activities, um, always you know, bringing back this sci-fi uh, feel. And it's always fun. Um, doing overlays is something I really enjoy as well. I, yeah. I wish I had more time to do it on my version. Yeah, I, I think... Man, when it, all right, there you go. I, I, you guys didn't like that cyan, but I kind of liked it. I don't know why. I just felt like it, uh, it's bringing back something. Um, I, anyway, I got lost where I was. But basically, I feel, um, yeah, the overlays always add something. And I feel it's always the funnest part is when you're doing stuff like this that's, like, quick and dirty. Because when you start to, like, clean things up, 
um, you see that you, you're like, oh, man, this takes a lot of time. This is, you know, this is not really, you know, my interest is not really, you know, peaking here, yeah, stuff like yeah. that. So doing stuff like this, I think I speak for myself, but I think it was a lot of fun for all of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, it's, it's just complete freedom, right? Like we can do uh, kind of whatever we want and just uh, have some fun with what we um, can come up with. Yeah, yeah. And that was basically what we get, what I came up with in terms of of what I thought was the look. But, you know, just two people kissing this. Uh, they found each other after this quarantine. And just uh, maybe I'd correct that white. That white, I think, shouts out too much. But... Um, yeah, just a very quick sketch um, and I think uh, we're kind of hitting our mark and um, I hope you guys like that. Did you, did you that guys enjoy it? That was a ton of fun, really. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was really great to, to work on this with you guys. I always enjoy, you know, when oh, specifically yeah. three of us work together. <laughs> yeah. Let's do a few more, man, hopefully. Uh, and a big thank you to all the team who is also working uh, like no tomorrow, uh, getting through all this, and, um, and they've been dragged away on uh, projects more than this. <laughs> but a big thanks to them. And man, I hope that everyone gets through this and that we can maintain a positive note to everyone out there because I think we need more stuff like this and less of the bad news that we keep hearing every day. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stay home, stay safe, keep your family safe and yeah, keep creating. It helps a lot, all our minds to, to keep in balance. All right. And don't do school. <laughs> For real. <laughs>